The Darth Mells are excited to share with you guys the first look at the Anakin Skywalker Jedi Apprentice Disney Legacy Lightsaber. This will be a true open box so we can both take a look at it together. Hopefully it lives up to the hype. Again, this is the Apprentice version, which means it is Episode 2, Star Wars The Clone Wars. Here's a quick up-close look at the box. You can see that Jedi symbol is a little more like see-through or transparent than some of the other Jedi symbols on these Legacy Lightsaber boxes. And on the back side it says Anakin Skywalker Jedi Apprentice. Lucasfilms and all those things. As I've pointed out in the past, you want to make sure that your seals are actually like factory sealed, not cut and retaped, which mine came straight from Shop Disney, so there's no worries there, but I always still double check. Stoked to crack this open with you guys. It definitely looks very cool on the Shop Disney website and can't wait to see it in person. The Battle of Heroes music should be coming on while you open this box. It just feels like that's the way it should be. There she is. Pretty sweet. As you can see, there's a couple different finishes. You got more of a mat on the bottom and the body, and then up by the emitter, you got more of that stainless steel, shiny kind of finish. All right, so let's get into some of the detail. Everything looks pretty consistent, so I'm happy with that. It has the gap in between the grips, as always. The grips look lined up and spaced correctly. The weight is impressive. That's probably the thing that's catching me the most uh, by surprise. Like I mentioned, it has a pommel and emitter, more shiny kind of chrome finish, and it has a little bit more of a light, lighter finish or a little bit more matte style um, on the rest of the hilt. Looks like you have two options for your belt clip. I thought this was a D-ring, but it is not. So it looks like you have two options. Here's that more close-up look. I like that the button detail is consistent. I like this gap and the fine details on the saber. As you can see, the grips are spaced correctly. It has that nicely raised ignition switch. It has the correct alignment with the red and green type lights or buttons. It has the shinier chrome emitter and pommel as I discussed. And the rest of the hilt is a little bit more of a less shiny or more flat. Here's the bottom. It just basically says Disney. And some probably codes or numbers for their accountability. I have had some issues with my grips lately. Overall, there's a little mark there, but these ones look pretty good. I am a little bit worrisome that this chrome could be not just a fingerprint magnet, but easily scratched. That's usually how that goes, but it is definitely a fingerprint magnet for sure. I turned the lights down so we could check this thing out in low light. As always, these sabers come with some type of a blade plug. You just pull that out. I have your traditional 32 inch Disney blade. Makes a noise when you put the blade in. Turn it counterclockwise. I am definitely wondering if it's the same sound, even though it is a different saber. It's still Anakin saber, so I'm definitely curious. I'm sure you guys are too. Let's get to it. I wanted to gesture control and turn it off, but that doesn't work. Psst. 
I'm not sure if you guys are wondering, but I was definitely wondering if the EP3 sounds the exact same as the EP2. So I'm definitely interested in firing these both up. Let's hear the two. The three. It appears that they are exactly the same. So you guys may not hear that, but there is a little bit more of a rumble after the ignition. So I'll let you hear this in the EP3. It's very quiet afterwards. The EP2 has a lot more hum to it after the ignition. Almost like more static or a little bit of a growl. But ultimately to answer the question, they're pretty much identical. I would also say the EP2 might have been slightly brighter and I put brand new batteries in the EP3 because it would barely turn on due to it being the original OG batteries from uh, Galaxy's Edge. So, show you guys one more time. Okay, officially this is not turning on and the switch appears to maybe be broke. I may try to check the batteries, but you can obviously hear that there are batteries in here and they're nice and loud. So this switch in two or three tries may be broken. So this will be another disappointment and a return to Disney. I'm going to just change the batteries anyway, even though I hear them loud and clear with the blade being inserted. but. It is not lighting up or igniting. Pretty disappointing. So unlike the EP3, and there is no D-ring like the EP4 through 6, you have to unscrew the bottom of this to get to the battery compartment. The EP3, you kind of have to use your nail and spin the ring, but it's not like this. These take triple A's. And unfortunately, it's the one that you kind of have to use a small screwdriver to get access to the batteries. So the new Duracell batteries are in. Let's see what happens. What do you guys think is going to happen? New batteries. Nothing. So the switch broke in the very first, you know, three to five uses. I'm pretty disappointed. It does seem like there's a little bit less uh, pressure to have to push um, on this ignition switch and it definitely has been determined that the Sabre has failed. So even despite how I like how it looks and it's good weight, and much better quality than some of the other NeoPixel type ones I find with a total chrome style that's easily scratched and they're way undersized. Um, I still can't recommend a Sabre that can't get through five times trying to display its performance. I will contact Disney and this will be a return. Hopefully this information helped you guys out. If you're interested in getting the Saber, maybe I'm just one in a million people that have this item be defective and it's a really awesome Saber. But obviously I can just show you um, what my open box and open box I shared with you uh, result is. Appreciate you guys sharing this open box with the Darth Mel's. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please check out all our other videos. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace. See you next time from the Darth Mel's.